ChatGPT may have better bedside manner than some doctors, but less some expertise. In case you wonder what bedside is, then let me check their dictionary. So bedside. Oh, it doesn't have any definition. But like, I think bedside means something related to sleeping advantages. That's what I thought. But yeah. ChatGPT can be a useful tool for patients who are seeking medical information and guidance, but the artificial intelligence tool can fully replace the value of a human physician. It says so itself. While I am a language model that has been trained on a vast amount of information, I am not a licensed med- medial medical professional, and I am not capable of providing medical pro- diagnosis, treatments, or advice. The chatbot wrote in response to a question from CNN. So, new research published this week suggests that physicians may have some things to learn from the chatbot when it comes to patient communication. A panel of licensed healthcare professionals accessed responses to about 200 different medical questions posted to a public online forum, including patient inquiries about medical diagnosis, need for medical attention, and more. Responses from ChatGPT were preferred over physician responses and rated significantly higher for both quality and empathy, according to a study published Friday. More than a quarter of responses from physicians were considered to be less than acceptable in quality compared with less than 3% of those from ChatGPT. Conversely, nearly half of responses from ChatGPT was considered to be empathetic compared with less than 5% of those from physicians. On average, ChatGPT scored 21% higher than physicians for the quality of responses and 41% more empathetic, according to the study. In an example provided in, in their study, a patient posed a question to a social media forum about the risk of going blind after a splash of bleach in the eye. ChatGPT started responses by applause, appal, ap, apologizing for the sky care, followed by seven more sentences of advice and encouragement about the unlikely result of going blind. Meanwhile, one physician responded with sounds like you will be fine, followed by the phone number of poison control. All clinicians evaluating the responses prefer ChatGPT's response. As in this example, experts note the responses from ChatGPT were typically much longer than those from physicians, which could affect perceptions of quality and empathy. Without controlling for the length of the response, we cannot know for sure whether the readers, the readers charge for the style, for example, verbals and flower dis- discourse rather than content, Rob Mallory Lopada, professor of natural language processing at the University of Edinburgh. Earlier this month, Dr. David Ash, a professor of medicine and senior advice dean at the University of Pen- Pennsylvania, as or it is called UPenn, as ChatGPT how it could be useful in healthcare. He found the responses to be thorough but verbals. Wait, what is verbals means? What have verbals mean? That's a new word for me. Like, verbals mean um, using only pressed in more words than are needed. It turns out that ChatGPT is sort of chatty. He said, It didn't sound like someone talking to me, it sounded like someone trying to be very comprehensive. Ask, who ran Penn Medicine Center for Healthcare and Innovation for 10 years, says he'd be excited to meet a young physician who answered questions as comprehensively and thoughtfully as ChatGPT answers questions, but worse that the AI tool isn't yet ready to fully interest patients too. I think we worry about the garbage in, garbage child problem, and because I don't really know what's under the wood of ChatGPT, I worry about the implications of misinformation. I worry about that any kind of research engine, he said. A particular challenge with ChatGPT is it is it really communicates very effectively in this kind of measured tone and communicates in a way that ensues confidence. I'm not sure that the confidence is warranted. Additional research published this week compared post-operative care instructions for eight common pediatric 
procedures that were provided by ChatGPT, Google, and Stanford University. The responses were analyzed based on standardized skill for understandability, actionability, and specificity. Overall, instructions directly from the medical institu- institution received the highest scores. ChatGPT and Google was about even in, was about even in terms of understandability, both scoring better than eighty percent. And while ChatGPT scored well in actionability, seventy three percent, Google responses were rated higher, eighty three percent. While ChatGPT did not outperform other resources. The researchers say it still has some value and some advantages, including the ability to customize responses to different literacy levels. For this analysis, ChatGPT was asked to provide instructions to a fifth grade reading level. ChatGPT provides direct answers that are often well written, detailed, and in if then format, which give patients access to immediate information while waiting to reach a clinician. The researchers wrote, still. As say that ChatGPT is better viewed as a port for doctors rather than a guide for patients, is better used on step removed from the clinical encounter in situation that allows her to the patient. He said, "I have a very optimistic sense of this, but it's all predicted on operating within the gardens of truth. At end of the moment, I don't know the guardrails of truth exist in the way in which ChatGPT constructs its answers." He said.